YouTubers, so this is DevTestAva2 here once again for another video. This time I got what I promised. The Amazing Spider-Man for the PS Vita. Now, this game um, will give any, anyone, I'm serious now, anyone mixed feelings. Like, it can get laggy from time to time. It could be your favorite game. I mean, like, seriously, it is, like, one of the biggest free roams ever on the PS Vita so far. It starts out with an, a really long intro, but you gotta skip. And I'm just gonna continue where I left off. Now, have you ever actually watched a playthrough or actually played the PS3 or Xbox 360 version of this game? You know to collect, get the rare suits... You gotta go find them across the map and take a picture of them. But sadly, in this game, you had to work for them. I mean, like, seriously. Like, the only thing I unlocked right now was the black suit. See, I wanted to play as big time Spider Man and stuff like that, because those are pretty damn cool if you ever played as one. Now, as you can tell, I'm pretty much have a few chapters left of the game. So, as you can see, the graphics are okay. But, let me tell you, there's a lot of pop-ups and stuff. Like, you guys can see it, too. And that lag is not just coming from my TV. From the camera itself. It's seriously coming. This game has a very large frame rate job from time to time. But it's still an okay game. Like, I really don't care that much that there's a frame rate drop. Let's look what you can do. Okay, let me first find a little spot location. Look at that. That's pretty awesome animation. No, where do I want to go? It's right there. Look at this. Like, he does all these crazy flips to get to his location. Look at this. I don't see how he's able to run on a bus in this game. But he can. And let me tell you, it's really fun. And just seeing those animations make a lot of this worthwhile to play. Now, they did a trick to make it look... To make it look HD still. Let me just see. Okay. So as you can tell, right now Spider-Man looks okay. But then as you can see further out, it gets blurrier and blurrier and blurrier. Now they try to make it look so there's HD in everything in this game. Which I think is kind of annoying, because there are a lot of pop-ups. And if you've seen anyone else play this game, there are hours of occasional, like, where you want to get this comic book. It won't let you... Look. Now, this led me, but that's only if it's... Like, there. Technically, when it says, hold L to get a comic book, technically telling you that there's a comic book nearby, and you got it. Hold L to get it. You can't just tap it. Which is kind of annoying. But I guess it's alright. As you can tell, Spider Man doesn't take any fall damage like the PS2 version of Spider Man 2. Which I really don't like that much because I like to feel like Spider Man is realistic and part human. Another problem that I have about this game is that, well, Spider-Man turns psychic in this video game. See, he doesn't need a building anymore to swing. Oh, jeez, it's like, ooh, jeez, what just happened? My screen just got kind of crap. Give me one second.
There we go. Well, the best I can get it. I'm actually don't know what's wrong right now. Like this, like the camera wants to shit out some green shit, but that's not the point. So as you can tell, the game, if you can notice, looks all right. Oh, I never got to fight one of these guys before. These enemies. These guys are really strong. But it's like, really makes the game interesting, too. Like, I don't know where this robot is. But he's somewhere on this map. Oh. Now, what I think is amazing is how the PS Vita can handle this. But the problem is that because it's so big, like, it loses its frames because of it. Oh, crap. Okay, so, as you can tell, this guy, now, I've actually never seen one. Well, yeah. So, I haven't actually seen one of these guys up in personal, like, they're in boss fights and all. But I never knew they'd be around the map like this. So, you gotta tap circle to shoot webs. You gotta use that to slow them down, so you can get a better aim, and then, you go in and shoot. And I can do that. Now, if you hold L, you only have a limited time. Sometimes they don't work where you want it to. It's hard to be exact with the PS Vita being so, you know, sensitive. So bear with me while I try, I try to take him down. Yeah, so what you saw there was a freeze up. And the screen kind of goes to the left a little bit because it's like um, Batman Arkham City style. This game is actually pretty cool, okay? I'm not gonna lie. I would like to post some more gameplay if you guys are still not sure about getting this game. Only the graphics are not PS2 version. I guess that's it for this video. Comment and subscribe and like and see you guys real soon.